Hi friends, in this video let us understand the steps involved in CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing procedure. Let's take an example. Suppose this is a patient with sickle cell disease. We know that the sickle cell disease is due to a base substitution. Let me zoom in this. So this template strand is CTC. So here thiamine is replaced by adenine in the case of disease condition. As a result, the normal amino acid glutamine that is present in normal protein is replaced by another amino acid valine that lead to a mutant protein lead to sickle cell. So if the single base is corrected or replaced with the correct base, this disease can be cured. So we have divided the entire procedure into steps and understanding. Step one is HSPCs are isolated and cultured. HSPCs are hematopoietic stem and progenitor cells, simply precursor cells that is capable of dividing and differentiating to form all types of blood cells. So this is cultured. Now we are entering into CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing procedure. First, we'll be synthesizing the GATE RNA. Step two is synthesis of GATE RNA. GATE RNA is simply an RNA that is complementary to the target DNA sequence. Here it is this sequence, CHC. That sequence should be edited. So GATE RNA will be complementary to that target sequence. Step three is Cas9 GATE RNA complex formation and transfection of that complex to target cells. So Cas9 is an endonucleus, a DNA cleaving enzyme that is gated by this GATE RNA. That is why this RNA is called as GATE RNA as it is gating this Cas9 for make specific cuts at specific DNA sequence that is complementary to this GATE RNA. Then we'll be transfecting this GATE RNA Cas9 complex into this cells, isolated cultured cells by means of electroporation, micro injection, etc. Then step four is DNA repair happens as a result of this Cas9 gRNA gene editing. So this Cas9 will bind to the complementary sequence and it will cleave the DNA. Then DNA repair mechanism will modify or repair the DNA either by non-homologous end-joining or by homologous recombination. Step five is infusion of this edited HSPCs back to the patient. So now we have edited hematopoietic stem cells without that mutated sequence and that is infused back into the patient and within the body these cells start synthesizing RBCs without this mutation therefore normal RBCs thus this disease can be cured. And this work is under clinical trial and seems very promising to cure sickle cell disease. So we have given a detailed video on CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing. You can refer that for more. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.